the question remains in a romantic relationship which party is the best is in the best position to prevent unwanted pregnancies <laughs> I think the best party to who can prevent pregnancy is that of a lady. I know what to tell my boyfriend. I know exactly when he wants to have sex with me, his feelings and reactions or emotions are towards me. And so if I know my boyfriend is going to have sex with me, I make sure I go into that agreement with you. Don't sleep with me without protection. And so even though condom these days does not assure you of 100% protection in as much of the brand and the advertisement and everything. I think the lady. Because... If you, you get pregnant and you know when it's time for you, like during your ovulation, that's when you get pregnant. So if it's time for you to do something, like have something and you know it's not a safe period, you can protect yourself and tell him to protect himself as well. That's how you prevent a pregnancy. It is believed that males have the power to determine whether the lady should keep it or not. Because, you know, males have the dominant power over the ladies. But then once again, the lady can also decide to keep it or not. In my view, I think the male have the, the ultimate power to as in comment as to whether they should keep it or not. I personally think that it is um, the woman's responsibility to prevent or to keep a pregnancy because she's going to cover, um, carry the baby for nine months. She's going to take care of the child through the um, infant stages and all that. I think it's both of them. Like, I mean... Uh, even the process of making the baby is supposed to be an agreement between both uh, bo uh, the couple, I mean both of them. So to prevent it, it's also supposed to be both of them. I mean, it can't just be one, one man decision. It's supposed to be both. Okay, so whether it's the lady or the gentleman or both, let's check out what she is The say. debate continues on Facebook. <laughs> Cobb Zlanko says, Africans like talking about sex too much. Are you sure? Why? Is that the only form of entertainment you have in today's... It's part of it. And, you can't uh, do without it. Enroll Now documentary. One woman, four children, and, <laughs> and pregnant with a fit. Yes, she can't even afford to enroll them in school. What is it with this indiscipline? Can't we provide condoms as part of health insurance or other forms of protection and stop talking about sex every day? Nana Kofi says, I suggest the, that there should be a free flow of issues by ensuring that both parties must agree to take decisions about how and ways to prevent them from unwanted pregnancy. And Samuel AJ says, the youth are prone to influential and unhealthy information, and this influential information is digested into the bloodstreams of the prone youth. Measures and remedies must... Uh, you okay, in place, not quite getting uh, And Wuni Lawal says, it is the man, since he's the one capable of producing the sperm, that will ultimately get the woman pregnant. By Jeremiah says, the woman, because when it comes to sex before marriage, men always request and the women accept. When women resist, there will be nothing like unwanted pregnancies. And the media Simon says, that's the wrong notion. Faithfulness and trust are key here. Mm. Okay. I think, I think um, at the end of the day, it's, it's to, as, a, as a woman who has more power, the woman, well, both parties can. Yeah. And uh, the woman can decide that she goes on a permanent method or, you know, long-term method. Yes, medium, but, long but when it method. comes to, um, there are other methods that needs the man to be involved. So I believe it's a two-way thing. You agree on which way you want to go, and it works out. All right, so... <laughs>